Brazil's preparations for the 2014 World Cup are already behind schedule and making matters worse is a partial collapse of a stadium roof last week in which two people lost their lives. The stadium will host the opening match of the World Cup and CCTV's Paulo Cabral will have that story for us in just a few minutes. Let's hear what he has to say. Workers are back at the construction site to finish the Corinthians Arena in Sao Paulo just four days after the accident that killed two of their colleagues. The death toll might have been higher, but most of the workers were on lunch break when a 500-ton metal structure toppled, slicing through part of the stadium walls. It was still a traumatic experience for all. If the crane had fell to the other direction, we would all be dead. In the end, it collapsed to the right side. Well, not the right side, because two died. But if it had fell over the sleeping quarters, there would be 15 or 20 deaths. Workers are not feeling great, but we have to be back here. We can't stop work. Before this accident, the construction company had promised to have the stadium ready by the end of the year, well ahead of the opening of the World Cup in June. Now it will take at the very least 40 days more. Things would still be all right with such delay, but the problem is that there is still the risk that it would take much longer than that. Authorities sealed parts of the site and of some equipment, including all the cranes, pending an investigation to determine the causes of this accident and whether or not it's safe to proceed. So work, for now, remains very limited. Football fans here are shocked. This isn't just a World Cup stadium. It's also the new home to the country's second most popular soccer team. We are really saddened with all this. We have been waiting for so long to have a stadium for our team. I live around here, so I have seen it being built from the very beginning. And I am very sorry for the lives that were lost here. Now they are back at work, and let's hope it will be completed now without more incidents. This is yet another setback on Brazil's troubled preparations for the World Cup. Only a few days ago, this was one of the field stadia in Brazil that was running on schedule for the world's biggest football tournament. Now, it will be a race against the clock to make up for lost time. Well, police and civil defense officials visit today the construction site and decided it will remain partially sealed still for an undetermined period. There was one official quoted saying it won't take long, but he did not say how long it will be. Uh, police are still investigating what happened. It's still, they say it's not yet clear if it was a human error or if it was a mechanical problem. One of the hypotheses is that the ground gave in under the crane because it was too heavy. But these are just initial hypotheses. Police are still investigating and and hope to come with something and to determine whether they will be able to continue working within the next days. All right, CCTV's Paulo Cabral reporting live from Sao Paulo, Brazil.